Hello lovelies, I'm going to show you how to use the chain stitch to recreate this lovely little pumpkin sweater. Look how cute it is. It's sweater weather. I use perla thread for this in one strand. You can choose any colour you like, but it's orange, green and cream for this one. This is your basic chain stitch. Bring your needle up through your fabric and go back down through the fabric in the same hole. Leave a very small loop. And we're going to bring our needle up through the fabric inside that hoop. So about a stitch length away, however big you want your chain stitches to be, bring it up through the loop and pull it. Not too tight because you want it to stay this lovely loop shape. We're going to go back down through our fabric in that hole we just came up through, leave a loop, and then bring our needle up through the fabric a stitch length away the same size as the previous chain stitch. Just remember, don't pull your loops too tight because they'll look like two straight lines. This is the chain stitch. It's wonderful for that woolly knitted effect on jumpers and scarves. So you come up through the loop and you go back down in the same place, leave a loop, bring your needle up through the fabric and then go back down through the fabric, leave a loop. To finish the line of chain stitch, we will bring our needle up through the loop and then we will tack it in place by going over the top of that chain. That's your chain stitch. This is the main stitch for this lovely little fall sweater. It uses chain stitch, stem stitch and straight stitch. It's a really easy shape to draw, but if you're still not comfortable with drawing that sweater shape, I will add it as a free template on my website under free stuff. Happy stitching y'all. It's fall y'all. Happy stitching. Don't forget to like, share or comment. Happy stitching.